I see you. I see both of you. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. I don't even know what to say. Hello. <laughs> Shit! Uh, I see you. I see both of you is what I said. Oh god, I have flies in my room. Um, hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, music, please. Okay. Looks like it. But... Yes, I see you. I see both of you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, that is true. And you know that my setup allows for me to step onto my table and jump over and leap over, technically. I may or may not do that at some point in the future. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. If it gets too annoying. So, I have this. And seeing how so far every single package got announced, this came out of nowhere. Uh, so I'm very curious. I mean, it's very likely some clothing. But I'm curious. I'm not gonna show the other side because I didn't uh, remove my name and stuff. Sorry. A debugger tool. I wish I could name some piece of software, but I can't because I don't know any. <laughs> but yes. Also, CRJ, are you here right now? Are you still here? You! I have started reading this. Started is good, like I'm I'm like more than halfway through. And oh my god, I love it so much. Holy shit. You can't imagine how good this is. Like, I've read a couple of art books in my life. These two aren't the only ones that I've read, uh, Resident Evil 7 and Alien Isolation. I've read more. And whenever I have criticisms about art books, about them lacking something. No, this sentence doesn't make any sense. Uh, what I want to say is basically this has everything I ever wish for, basically. Whenever I complain about something in an art book that it lacks something, this one do has it. Like, this is genuinely a 10 out of 10 art book in my opinion. Holy shit, thank you so much for this. Just wanted to say this. <sighs> it it it's 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 actually incredible. It's actually incredible how they go over every yeah, every single character actually. Like even the minor ones get like some screen time. Uh, so yeah, it's 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 really damn good. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> I do. Fuck. Thank you. And I need to mute WhatsApp. Wait. Shut up.
Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, I can't wait. Can we can can we please open this? <laughs> can we or should I wait some some or, or 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 should I wait more? Should I wait longer? What? <laughs> it's not from me. Yeah, well, I, I guessed as much. Like, I mean, even... Okay, to be fair, I remember you said you wanted to make it a surprise, but you ended up having to say it, so... It could have been for you. I from you, I guess. But like, I, I, I don't know anything about it. It just randomly appeared in my mailbox. And I know it's for the wishlist because it has like the name. Of course, like obviously my, my uh, legal name is a different one, so. Do we open it or do we not yet? <laughs> Why? I want to open it now, but maybe, maybe someone else will join who happens to want to see it, you know? <sighs> By the way, I love how the title of my stream fits both this and the game What Remains of Edith Finch. What is it? Yeah, but I don't know who is who, who it is. That's the problem. <laughs> And by the way, the title thing, I only just now noticed that I, I just wrote it with, like, Edith Finch in mind. And only just now did I notice that it actually fits to this as well. I'm too impatient. Especially since it's been lying around for, like, yeah, for two days now. And I've been just, and I've just been staring at it this whole time. I would love to wait for the person to arrive, but I don't know who that person even is. Okay, okay, let's try. I hope this isn't too loud. I can't feel the paper. I... there... there is no paper. And the per... and I... I think it's... no, it's one thing. Yeah, there... there... there is no paper. What the fuck? Oh! No. No, no, no. Paper. I just I, I'm just blind my hand is blind okay okay so it's a gift from <laughs> yes <laughs> actually yes <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so the name is someone who has three pairs And I love the message. <laughs> Pairs of that, I guess. And it says, "Make your, <laughs> may your ass feel as hugged as mine does. Hope it fits. <laughs> Wish you all the best.
<laughs> Shit. This is actually... This is amazing. Ah, come on. Please. Camera. Camera. It really doesn't want to focus on this, huh? Come on. Please. Can you kind of vaguely read it somewhat? Anyway, I love this message. <laughs> it's funny. I still haven't looked at what is lying next to me, though. That makes me... I would be surprised if it was TikTok shorts, since I haven't had any on my wish list, and it's just one article as far as I could feel, so... Um, and also, I don't... At, at least Amoya has never written in my chat, and I haven't ever seen that name around here, even like when I... Uh, when I check the users, which I don't do often, but it can happen. So, uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. Maybe Bra has discovered me. <laughs> anyway. Do we take a look at this or do we not? This doesn't help me. <laughs> I love how... I love how there is this thing here, obviously. You can see it to, to like, rip it open. It's, like, glued. But I managed to rip it, like, you can see it here. You can see the seam or right above it. Isn't that perfect? And now it doesn't rip anymore. Nice. Nice. Just perfect. Okay. Oh! Oh! Okay! The glue is... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like a pair of black jeans. From uh, the, the, the... From Only. And I love Only. I have a couple of, uh, of their products, and they're amazing. So I really want to try it on now. Give me a minute. Actually, let me let me rip off the the, 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 the labels first. With my comically large scissors. The problem is, I don't know my measurements, so what I put in there is just my best guess, so I'm just hoping that it fits. <laughs> I really hope that it fits, but it should, it should. Oh, right, CRJ, that was a thing. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, it is a wishlist. It is a wishlist item, and... It doesn't have the nicest smell to it, not gonna lie. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Like, I, I hate destroying things. It's... no. No, no, I can't. I can't. I couldn't just rip it off. I can't. I literally can't. The only... the only time when I can rip something open it's like when I get like a package of of like oranges or like mandarins and just like rip the net open. Like that's the only thing I do. No, no, just no. Especially since this is like proper, like, it's like string. I, I, I couldn't rip this apart, even if I wanted to. Anyway, let's try this on. 
and what I love about these is that they're stretchy, so they, so they, um, wait, they hug the ass. <laughs> anyway, give me a minute. That is also really important. That is really damn important. Form fitting? I hope so. my god these are tight but like in in a good way and I actually kind of broke my nail uh, on them <laughs> but that's just because my nails are really really damn fragile right now and you can see I, I got them removed actually just today and what I didn't know is that they get really damn weak if if, if they aren't on the air for like four weeks Um. So they bend really easily and they, like, yeah. And this one just literally just broke a little, just just because I tried to put on a pair of really tight jeans, so... Anyway... Look at this! You can't... wait. Yes, this is genuinely my typical light setup with horror games. Fit check no channel point redeem because I I rarely have like special fits. I mean I I can do a fit check redeem, but I feel like it would be a waste of channel points. Y you still can't see. Wait. Yeah, you can't. S I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I need to come up with good redeems, maybe like a really high one to like... Uh, Zmax I think mentioned this before, to get like VIP for like 100,000 points or something, I, I have no clue man, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can't really see anything because it's black, but like... Point five k skirts, but I uh, should I just pull one, pull pull one over? <laughs> oh, but I love them, and my ass does feel hugged. That's amazing. I I yeah, I I, I feel like I'm missing words. It's it's so weird for me to actually talk for once. So I I I I really get used to not talking at all because I don't really talk in my real life. So it's kind of hard for me to form proper sentences, I feel like. But I love them. As I said just now, I have a couple of pairs of, 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 of from this company, and they're all amazing. And this one is no exception, so whoever that was, if you're here, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Uh, spin, I, I, I guess? <laughs> I I don't know if that was any good, if that was worth it, but... <laughs>
but there you go. Yeah, exactly. Hearts out for someone who has three pairs. Shit, my nail. Oh, that's kind of a shame because it's like really close to the to the skin now, if that makes sense. You know, when it's like really short. Like she gave it such a nice shape, and now it's just, eh. That was solid. Thank you. Shit, I just now realized that I made myself some tea, but I completely forgot about the water, so I only have this left, and holy shit, my bottle looks dirty. Um. Do I now have three pairs of these? Not of these. But I think I now have three pairs uh, of, uh, of, of, of only jeans. I think that is my third pair as well, yes, now. And I love that they actually fit, because again, this was just my best guess, but I was actually kind of scared that they would be too small. Um, so yeah, that's amazing, thank you so much. Hydration check also not redeemable. That's because I just drink all the time anyway, like, uh, so I didn't see it as necessary, but I can of course make it a redeem. Maybe future... <laughs> Well, future me has some good taste. Yes, I considered that. But I wouldn't send them back anyway. Like, if anything, I would probably just, just like, give them away or, or yeah, to, 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 like, someone who they actually fit. So I don't think I would actually send them back. Wait, if I send them back, does the person who gifted it get the money back? In that case, I would probably do it, because, like, I, I can't take money for something that I don't even keep, right? That would be a bit... Uh, that, that would be a dick move. Uh, so, yeah, I think in that case I would actually send it back. Actually, yeah, good good point. For future reference, I will, I will keep the tags on until I try the products on. Um... Yes, but yeah, again, thank you so much. Uh, someone who has three pairs. <laughs> I love that name, but I would still love to know who that is. But having seen Bra and Anonymous and Anonymous, I don't think I'm gonna find out. Not saying that this person is related to them in any way, but... If you want to stay anonymous, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Oh no! Fuck, that was so bad. That was so bad. <laughs> I wanted to act scared. I can't even say that this is how I'm scared, because like, you have seen me scared with horror games by now. So... <laughs> I think you have to be a bit more specific, CRJ. I think it is not only about uh, the 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 piece of clothing itself. <laughs> By the way, yeah, right, right, Minox. Hello, Phoebe. Welcome. <laughs> let's start the game. Let, let's change the category. And let's start uh, the game. <sighs> yeah, exactly. I got a package just now, which I... 
I got a package which I opened just now, and it happened to contain these. And they are beautiful, and I love them, but I can't lift my leg any higher because they're... Well, they're new. I, I think they... Do you know what I'm trying to say? They They still have to... Um... And it's from someone who owns three pairs. Stretch! Oh my god, thank you. Did you know that not talking, not really talking a lot at least, uh, for, for like, for, for days or weeks, uh, kind of makes you forget how talking works? <laughs> oh man. Anyway. Anyway, what else do we have here? Oh, right, we've experienced Sam's story. Sam's story. Metro Exodus DLC, that's what it was. Um, let's move on. Can I go down here? No, that's where I came from. No! <laughs> you don't have to be sorry, it's fine. <laughs> I don't expect anyone to send me anything. Of course, I appreciate it when it happens. Uh, but I don't expect that to happen. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Gregory. Ooh. Now I'm curious what kind. House rules. No playing outside without permission. No answering door for strangers. No messes after dark. All chores before dark. Respect others. Yeah. But you know, if the mis if the mystery person wants to stay a mystery, it's fine. Of course, my curiosity is still there, but I, I, I respect their decision. <clears throat> yes, Minox, no messes after dark. A lawsuit have, has been... No, don't put it... Mm. A lawsuit has been filed against you. You have 20 calendar days after this. Summons and is after this summons is served on you to file a written response to and so on. If you do not file a response, it doesn't really say what it's about, right? Oh, divorce contract! Oh my god, yeah, okay. <laughs> Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Well then, Robert Duck, CRJ, Robert Duck. Robert Duck, CRJ, Robert Duck. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, enjoy your food later. And enjoy your, you, you, you like cooking, right? Enjoy. What are you cooking? <laughs> nice. Mine sits back there just in in case I like move and it's kind of visible, you know. Hey, my ducky is also cute. I'm not denying the evilness, but it's cute in this evil way. It's like it's like when a really short person gets angry. It's just it's just funny and cute kind of, you know. True, true. The water effects are, are not the worst I've seen. Anyway, CRJ. 
enjoy your board games and thank you for being here. Now let me google what that even is. <laughs> oh damn! That looks good! Can you give me some? Please? Please? Hey Isaac! <clears throat> okay, let's check this out. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Yeah, you and me. Bartend over, Gregory. It's time to... Hold on, sweetie. Hello? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. I wonder what he saw. Ducks. Many ducks. Oh, I, I, I'm, I control the frog. That's interesting. Huh. What his world was like. It reminded me so much of Calvin. Kind of a shame that CRJ isn't here anymore. Lost in his imagination. Can I go even higher on the whale? Let's go! What's that? What's that up there? No! Yes! There's nothing anymore. There's nothing left. Oh. Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Oh, hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Oh, I can still jump. I wish you could have told us <laughs> about the world he saw. Pizza I ordered today, Pizza Diablo, they forgot to add the chili. There's so much I don't understand. About Gregory. <laughs> Isn't that like the only ingredient almost? Also, what's going on? But I know what happened wasn't your fault. Let's go! Yes! Hulk swim! Good luck, Kay. Oh, that's it? Okay. Love, Sam.
No comment. No comment. Gus! I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet... With a skateboard, that's cool! A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd Aw, oh, that's so cool! Oh my god, I collect them! My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Oh my god, that's amazing! I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and No comment, Isaac. Oh, that's so cool! Hey, but where's the next thing? Can I do anything? No. I can only control. Oh! Hello! Hello! When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come I'm here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> the wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Oh, that's so cool. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. Yeah, same. That was so cool, holy shit. She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. That was so cool, holy shit. I've also never seen anything like this and damn. Damn. Poetry is not cool. The cool kids at school smoke. They aren't into poetry. Therefore, poetry not cool. Pottery? Harry Pottery? Raise flag, breakfast, quiet time. You have... Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um... Routine. <clears throat> Jump rope a hundred times. Jumping jacks a hundred and fifty times. Push ups a hundred times. Crunches a hundred times. Run to mailbox and back. Damn. Yes. Yes, it is. Isaac, I don't believe you that you were always the cool kid. Simply because you like poetry. After her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool! 
That actually reminds me of the dorm a friend of mine had. Where it was kind of similar, it was like a set of stairs, but like she had her like main room with like kitchen and everything, like the typical dorm stuff. With her kitchen and everything, not typical dorm stuff, I guess, because many have shared kitchens and stuff. But like she had her kitchen and, and bathroom and everything like on the ground floor, like big room. And then she had like a small set of stairs that led up, uh, that led upstairs, and she had like this little balcony thing. And the size of it actually is kind of similar to this, and she had her bed there and like uh, a few like other little things. That's so cool. First class dorm, yeah, actually. I can imagine, Isaac. I can imagine. The house is very cool. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. But not gonna lie, having the computer up here, having to climb this every single time to just get to my computer... Oof. Let's slide down. That's so cool that you can actually do that. Can I also climb? No. Hello, Almog. Welcome. Pole dancing? I would not be a good pole dancer because I'm shit at dancing and my body is also not the most uh, athletic. Let's let's put it like this. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh, that's it. I, I thought another chapter was coming. Okay. We have some... Uh, Oh, it just says Dawn. I was I was about to say we have some interesting script, but I can't quite place it. It kind of looks uh, like Hindi, but also not really. But yeah, it, it just says Dawn. <laughs> okay. Oh, India! There we go! Planet, planet. Pack, fly to India. Copy passport for volunteer center. Meet with relief rep. After school teaching and so on. Fly to India. Let's go. 10 ways to teach critical thinking for the homeschool student and teacher. Nice. Oh, she even had an Indian boyfriend. Oh, and a huge map of India. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> How did I not see this before? You just read the story? I'm trying my best, Isaac. I want to see as much as possible. How are you going to reach these books? Dawn? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, Dawn, how are you reaching these books? Ever? Also up there? Dawn? Huh? My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Minox, I had a long week, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. No, Lewis yeah. was born a year later. I... yeah. My fault. My bad. My bad. Oh, we're up here! We're up here! We are up here! We are exploring the top bit of the... Oh my god, I hoped for that to happen. Dismantle the roof. Fair. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Fair, I'm gonna do that every single time from now on. Dawn! I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. 
<laughs> I read that as Brazil at first. And I love how the salmon uh, cans are also here. <laughs> Milton, Edith. And to see kids in the house again. Oh, that's so cute. Like a little uh, guy fishing here. And there we have more people. That's so cool. That's such a fun idea to, to have like these little figurines. And I love how different these three are. Like, it's not just like the, they slapped the names on them and just made them, like, basically the same, like, maybe sli slightly different plans. No, these are completely different. They show completely different personalities. I love that. Do you notice that she's pregnant? Uh, aside from the fact that she said... Sh that... that that she said it herself last time, uh, I would not have noticed. But she said it. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. I, I did that just now. Yeah, I, I, yeah. But you don't have to be pregnant to not see your feet when you look down, you know? First time where you can look down on the player character and see her? I have done that last time. Or do you mean like in games in general? Because I could name you like a ton of examples where that's not where, like where you can actually see your character. And for a while, things were good. <clears throat> Almost normal. Many games do. Like, most uh, FPS games, actually. Like, for example, if you play any Call of Duty game, I think you can see your body if you look down. I can't really name examples like off the top of my head right now because like I don't pay attention to that a lot. But it's not so out of the ordinary that it's like a crazy thing when it happens. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Like But it didn't last. Back in the day, I, I, I think it was a big deal because, like, games didn't really do that before. But, like, everything, like, from, I feel like, 2005 and later, uh, it's basic it was basically, like, 50-50 if it did it or not. And then, like, the more modern it is, the more they gravitate towards showing it, I feel like. That's just my personal feeling. Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. I want to go there first. Okay, there is way more there, okay. Imagine having your room here. What the hell? Like, imagine actually having to go, like, to climb on the roof of your house to reach this place. To reach your room, basically. Why is this closed? It, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, exactly. Like, imagine having to do that every single time you go home. I 
think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. This reminds me of the next game of the guys who made uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. It's called... What is, what is it called? I remember it is newer than Edith Finch, but it is still less expensive to this day. Um, the Unfinished Swan. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you can't see, wait. Here, the unfinished swan. I don't know what it's actually about. Um, but I feel like it has to do with paint and with color in some way, but like specifically this screenshot. It really reminds me of their next game. Anyway. And that's just the title. <laughs> the game, I, 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 I mean, I don't know, I don't have it and I haven't played it. But I would assume it's finished. I hope it's finished. What the fuck did I say, Google? Sorry. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. You know? Um. Oh. Oh! Oh, that's so cool! Oh my god! Yeah, I have no clue what, like, the Unfinished Swan is all about. But, like, this looks like, it, at least, like, somewhat... This looks... Was four when Milton disappeared. This looks like it was at least somewhat inspired by this. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The music is amazing, yes. Isaac, have you played the Unfinished Swan? But this place is really cool, though. I love this place in general, but I wouldn't want to, like, climb up here every single time. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Okay, let's check out the upstairs. Oh, I'm really hyped to see what's Mom in there. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. <clears throat> Do you want to play it, Isaac? As I've mentioned many times by now, I love exploring these, let's say, self-made living environments that aren't like house, well, houses as well, but like even more than. I, I like exploring these types of things even more that aren't just like houses, that are actually like randomly just assembled with like some scraps basically, you know what I mean? Like random shacks that were turned into like actual living spaces, you know? Or like uh, post-apocalyptic stuff where they like repurpose like, I don't know, like old planes or some shit and just make their rooms in there, just put some mattresses in there. I love explore exploring these kinds of things. And this is giving me that same vibe. They just took some, some stuff and just, like, did, like, a makeshift home. And I love exploring these After kinds of things. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. So I'm really hyped. mom got him a job at the cannery. So I'm really hyped to see that. 
Is that a ship? It looks like one. Can I go there? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Let's go. And yeah, that is definitely a ship. Let's check it out. I feel like I'm slowly getting back into talking. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. <laughs> that part of him lived on. So, um... Let's... Oh, damn! That's a nice keyboard. It looks somewhat unnecessarily big, but it looks cool. Anyway... <laughs> Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. <laughs> He died a lot. And he has this sick setup and you don't? I mean, I don't know if you do, but like... It says a lot about society, am I right? Dear Mrs. Finch, As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Oh no. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. Mm. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Wonder. Oh, oh, I oh damn! I I control this, but also I control the hands at, at the same time. That's interesting. I asked him to describe it. That's a very interesting. He said he started small, imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. This right now kind of reminds me of the game uh, Dark Echo. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. Fish. Oh! But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Oh, this is like Evil I Land. About him then. Do, you, do you know Evil Land? Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. Evil land. So I let him go on. Ooh, it I gets even bigger. encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. <clears throat> he told me he'd made a new friend. It looks so cool. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. 
the fish appearing there is kind of concerning. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. Hello, He's Acid. Always humming something. Yeah, I'm sorry. But you didn't miss an hour of the game. His imagination grew stronger. I opened the package at first, so you only missed like 30 minutes, if, if that helps. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. Another so he fish. Could do whatever he wished. He held an election for men. And he won. <laughs> Mario. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Oh, that's so cool! Oh my god! He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. Can I go to that city? New Louisville. Okay, Evil Land. Evil Land. This really reminds me of Evil Land. And I have to shortly explain what it is, just in case you don't know it. Evil Land is this game. There are two of them, actually, but I like the first one more where you basically play through the history of JRPGs. Like, you start literally in one dimension, you can only move left or right. Actually, I think at first you only move left. And then the more you unlock, like, you find these chests that let you unlock stuff, but the unlockables are actually just gameplay mechanics that developed over time, like, over, like, real, actual time. Real-life time with games. So the first unlockable is you can now move to the right. Second unlockable, I think it was the second, you have now music. Then an unlockable is, oh, you get a second dimension now, the world is like actual 2D. Another unlockable is, oh, you can save now, you know? And you basically, basically play through the history of JRPGs and the more you play, the better the game looks, or like the more modern the game looks. Um, this really reminds me of that. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. <laughs> Minneapolis! One day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a beautiful prince or handsome queen, you tell me. Um Now I do. Holy shit, Isaac. True. Damn. You're... holy fuck! Damn! Let's go for the queen. Handsome queen. But I have to say, my arm is starting to feel tired of, of this movement. The queen was on her own quest for... Radiant rainbows. Yeah, I, I, I will stop now because, like, my arm is actually... My arm doesn't like that. Oh, I... <laughs> he 
followed the sound of her. Electric sitar. No. Let's go let's go for the harp. Silver harp. Hello Atlas, thank you so much for following. No, I missed one. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. But he was so proud of having created it. Can I not kill this one? Oh. That's interesting. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. <clears throat> For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. I'm sorry, I said I I'm gonna read it after this is over. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Oh, what the? began to forget the world we know. That's somehow... I, I, I don't know how to explain it. If you see it, you see it, I guess. Maybe not. But like, somehow this has like an ancient touch to it. I don't know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. began to despise the man with a royal contempt. I love how um, if your mouse movement like is, is slow enough, if your DPI are low enough, I guess, that could actually be the player's movement. It's not mine because my mouse is very fast, but like... It, it kind of checks out. Neptune's bounty... Oh, it's... it's not gonna lie, it's kind of hard for me to... Uh, to, to connect names to specific places in Bioshock. They kind of blend together in my head a lot. That's a lot of fish, by the way. Right, Isaac, that's what I wanted to say. This work here... I I used I used to work at a production line not even 2 years ago. I stopped a little more than 1 year. No, I stopped a little less than 1 year ago. It really was this dumb monotonous work and we really tried to make it fun with however we could. Like we stood like in a line. It wasn't just one person doing all the stuff but like we stood in a line, we had like six people in one line, uh, on a good day. Like, when uh, the line was full, we had six people. Let's say we had up to six people, four to six, typically four or five. 
and we try to make it as fun as possible for ourselves by listening to music, by talking all the time, by just doing stuff. But that was actually discouraged by our boss. Like, they hated to see us uh, talking. Or, like, he. He hated to see us talking. He hated to see us basically having fun. Like, if someone laughs, that means he isn't working, you know? If someone talks, he's less efficient with his work, you know? So it was actively discouraged. Whenever our boss was around, we stopped. We just worked. And these few minutes every day were like the worst, because it, you really just had to do the same thing over and over again with literally no distraction. Also, we weren't technically allowed to have headphones, so we also had to take to put them away, you know, and just do that. Holy shit. If these few minutes are already as bad, I can't imagine what this... Oh, you don't even... Oh, shit. He's in my he's in my frame, but he was behind my face. I'm sorry. I was looking at him this entire time. Um, I can't imagine what this must be like. Uh, that's... Yeah. It, it is horrible. Like, doing that... That kind of work was already, like... After an hour, you've seen everything. You know? You've seen everything this kind of work has to offer. At most, after an hour. If you, like, have some brain capacity after an hour, you it's so ingrained in your system that you can just do it, you know? But now imagine doing that for eight hours a day, every day. Well, not every day, of course, there are weekends, but there were many Saturdays on which we were expected to come, so almost every day, kind of, it felt like. Um... So yeah, the work alone was already bad enough. Talking to people all the time. It helped. It could... It had the potential to help. But at some point... At some point you run out of topics, you know? There is only so much you can talk about, especially with people you don't really connect with. So at some point you just start having your headphones on all the time and just listening to music all the time. Which also gets tiring after a while when you listen to the same playlist for 8 hours a day. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it came even close to this. Holy shit. But yeah, I still don't know what I have to do here. Um... The fish cannery, exactly. Also, I can't interact with anything. Okay, while I'm taking a break from the game anyway and talking anyway, let me let me read Asset's message. Yesterday was the first time I rewatched an entire stream. Damn, I'm 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 glad. I'm I'm flattered. Thank you. Uh, I have to say, every now and again, I rewatch some parts of my streams because I wasn't sure like what I said if what I said was like correct or good. Like in certain situations, it was it's kind of floating around my head, and I just check. And sometimes I catch myself just keep wa I catch myself keeping watching? Is that good English? You know what I mean, right? I just catch myself how I just keep watching because I don't know, some somehow it's entertaining, I guess. So I have actually rewatched like a couple of my whole streams, surprisingly. Uh that's an interesting phenomenon. And Hello, Daniel. Welcome. Thank you so much for following. I like the little Jen story time. You're opening a bit about your childhood. Not gonna lie. I can't even remember what I said. These are the kinds of things that's when, that when I'm like really like in the mood, in that very specific mood, you probably know what I'm talking about. Where I just like get, uh, where I just like open up about things, but like when, as soon as I'm like 
back to normal, I, I completely blank on what I even said. It's just... It, it happens, but I don't like to think about it, you know? Um, not... not I, hmm. I said it wrong. I don't like to think about my past very much. So whenever I talk about my past, like, I even blank that out, if that makes sense. Hello, Daniel. I love the comic episode. Oh, really? It had an artistic touch to it? That is true, like the movie Sin City. Sin City was a cool movie. I totally get when people call it stupid and unrealistic, but I still love the fact that it's so purpose purposely over the top. The prepare bunker was awesome, with the train being the 12 o'clock monster. Have you rode a swing yet? Ooh, right. And yeah, the uh, the bunker was awesome. No. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Am I am I still here? Hello. Am I here? Okay, I'm still here. Holy shit. I had a zero just now on like my bitrate, uh, so I, I was scared that my that my internet was gone. Okay, I'm back. I'm here. Uh, um, and no, I have not. Uh, I have not ridden a swing yet. Uh, no, I did. I did. I do. I have. Yes, of course. Um, but yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your input. I appreciate it. You feel that way because the room is so high? Uh, yes, that. And, like, this very, um, symmetrical feeling of, like, the two, uh, things being basically the same, but, like, also their shape. I mean, they're, like, square things, like, they're... Th that there is not much to the shape, but like I don't know, like the overall shape, also like with the, with the hinted roof, like with the triangles. I don't know. It kind of has that vibe to me. I don't know. I worked as a store manager for a large German brand for some years. I had a great work relationship with my co-workers, but got scolded every time a higher supervisor came to visit because people weren't supposed to have fun at- Yeah! Exactly! What the fuck is up with that? Like, for real! Why are you not allowed to have fun at work? If any- Okay, good, wait. If it actually hinders the work, I understand a hundred percent. But, there is a very high chance that it actually raises the motivation, making work fun, making people want to work more. Why the fuck do people not realize that having fun does not mean, does not have to be a bad thing? How fucking sad is their life? Ooh, sorry. Um, I may or may not have uh, not really enjoyed my work. <laughs> I may or may not be a little passionate about these things, a little opinionated about these things. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, stumbled upon your stream through Ryan Ali's Discord. Nice, welcome. Uh, I hope my rant just now didn't put you off too much. Uh, and yeah, I happen to be a mod for Ryan Ali. Welcome. If I stream for long enough, we will rate him. Uh, we will rate him later. Gem plays lots of interesting games. Thank you. Go to the light, but like what? Li oh my god! I can go up. there? I didn't even real. I mean, okay, seeing this now, okay, it it actually makes sense. I yeah, it makes sense. But I didn't even realize that I can go up here. Thank you. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. 
Exactly, Minox. Exactly. People aren't robots, though. Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. People like getting compliments once in a while. For example, we assembled computers. And we had a set amount that we had to reach per day. Ideally, of course. Uh, sometimes we just didn't reach it, but then we had to make up for it on other days. Which is why we had to work on Saturdays sometimes. So we had to reach a certain uh, amount per day. Uh, on average, per day. And uh, let's 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 pick a random number. Let's say we had to do 200 of them per day. And we did 180, and we did that for a whole week. So let's say we missed, we didn't have an, we we like fuck. We had a hun we we made a hundred too little per uh, for for an entire week. Oh my god! I should learn to talk. You probably know what I mean, right? 20 too little per day times 5 a week. 100 too little. And let's say 2 weeks were like that. So we were 200 in the, in, in the back, you know? So we had to work a Saturday to make up for it, basically. That was like the basic gist of it. Bad thing. You're bad workers, you have to work on Saturday now. Let's say we do 250 on one day. And then we have for the whole week an average of like, I don't know, let's say 210 or 220, which also happened on like good weeks. Nothing. Not a single word, not a single nothing. The only thing we ever got was either nothing or we got shit on. That is not good. That makes people hate you. That makes people not want to interact with you at all. Even though you keep coming and trying to say, Oh yeah, how's your day going? Fuck off, my day's going horrible, fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I haven't been this angry in, in a while. Uh, kind of feels good to finally went, vent about this, because I haven't done that ever. Um... But yeah, I'm sorry if you're put off by this. I don't typically get this angry on stream. <laughs> it was a really toxic work environment. Imagine entering a store where people are smiling, joking, looking like they're enjoying their work. Sounds horrible, huh? <laughs> Would not work to shop there? <laughs> yeah, exactly! Oh, God. Yeah, imagine going to, like... I don't know, to like your your near fast food, like your local fast food thing. And you just see like the worker who like prepares the food, like just like enjoying, like having like a nice talk to someone, just like laughing or whatever. That makes you hate that person, right? That really makes you not want to talk to him. That makes you want to storm out and go to a different place, right? To get your food. God! <laughs> Overtime for venting instead of work. By the way, these Saturdays counted as overtime because we didn't, like, technically we didn't have to work on Saturdays, but, like, if you didn't, you could get fired, so you better, you know. Um, but technically we didn't have to, so these hours counted as, as um, overtime. And in my entire time that I've been there, I had so much overtime that I was able to quit I think one and a half months early and get paid like my contract ended but I didn't go to work for like the last one and a half months or so because I had so much overtime like accumulated that's how many Saturdays we worked and I wasn't there for too long. I was only there for, like, a bit less than a year, actually. Wait, that doesn't make any sense, though. Does that make any sense? 
it would make sense if it if it was like every single Saturday that we would that we worked, but it wasn't. Oh right, I also had holidays. I also had like two weeks of holidays, I think. Those were also in there. Yeah. Like with holidays, with overtime and with everything. And I think we also had like a bit of overtime in general, so yeah, all of that accumulated to like one and a half months that I could l basically leave early and still get paid. I'm so sorry, Daniel. By the way, that you had to experience this just now. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry that w this was the, your first experience here. I'm, I'm so sorry. This is really typical, not the typical vibe of my stream. <laughs> No! No f no! And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son, was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. He didn't do that. He didn't use the fish cutter to... He... no. No. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Honestly, drawing him with a fish in his hands. I mean, it fits, but... Uh, uh, uh. No, <laughs> don't. Dr. Emily Nut, yes. Hey, Strix, welcome. Oh shit! My, uh, do you mind telling me, mo t telling us more, Daniel? Okay, uh, I forgot about the the operating numbers. I as the one, who, I was the one in charge. I as the one in charge had to report every single day how much profit my store made and compared it to the ex expected amount that some guy in an office far away had pre-calculated. Did that amount ever get adjusted to, like, the realistic, to, like, what actually, uh, to, like, the actual, uh, real-life numbers? Or was it just, like, that's, that utopic amount that, utopian? Utopic? Utopian? Amount that, like, never got reached, and he always complained about it. Like, what was the deal? Wait, I just now noticed I have no drawing of Dawn. Why don't I have a drawing of Dawn? I was at her place already. So I should have... I, sh I should have one of her, right? Isaac, please, please tell me. No story yet. But, but like, we were at her place. Hello, welcome. It will come. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Um, before I go up there, I want to see what uh, what's on the other side of this. No, don't go back. <laughs> she okay. She just goes back automatically. Oh, okay, okay, I can move. I okay. Okay. Yes, I want to see what's there. That was not worth it. Oh, 
Oh, uh, well, I hope you can figure it out. Do you have like any any like imagination of what you could want to do? And if you don't mind, what was? Lewis's funeral. My mom told me to start packing. If you don't mind, what was your job? She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. <laughs> I sick. I wish we'd stayed. Holy shit, all these posters, there are so many. But I understand why we left. This little house is so cool. Honestly, I think I've I've like uh, implied or even mentioned this in the past a couple of times, but I'm actually not the biggest fan of these big houses. Like, of course, it would be cool to live in one and everything, uh, to have all these like as I mentioned last time, to have all these little secrets and everything. It would be cool, but I'm a much bigger fan of these small ones. I don't know, like this, this kitchen, for example. Okay. To be fair, it doesn't have anything to cook on. That's kind of a negative. But like in general, this kitchen looks so small and cozy. Do you really, or do I really need more than that? No, like this is actually perfect for me. And then like with the window and seeing like the sea and stuff, that's amazing. Like this, this little house here. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. It looks so cozy. And, like, actually perfect for me personally. I love it. Like, honestly, I would prefer this over, like, a giant place. Yeah. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. I mean, the best case. Had to end one way or another. The best case scenario would, for me, be to have both because sometimes I would also like to be like in a big place. Like sometimes my room, even though it is very big for like a dorm, feels just too small for me, and I just need some some more freedom. So it would be cool to have both and to be able to like kind of switch between them. Uh, at my own will, basically. But if I had to choose permanently, I would probably pick this. Oh my god! Now is to tell you about that last night. This makes it so much better! <laughs> yeah, this is, this is actually perfect. Like, imagine having this cozy, like, bad reading corner gaming place whatever like everything and oh my god oh team assistant office manager yeah i that doesn't sound like too too fun to me personally of course people can enjoy it and i'm guessing you did for some time at least but yeah I, I i i feel you let's put it like this i feel you so yeah good luck with your internships edith small house in the countryside is perfect honestly for me Okay, I said just now that like having a, an, a, a view to the sea would be amazing, would be perfect. And that is still, that is true. But what would be even more amazing would be like your own little house or cabin or whatever in the middle of the forest with no one around. Like where you can just do whatever you want and no one will give a damn about it. Ah, uh, but not too far from civilization. I want to reach like a proper store within, let's say, like an hour's worth of driving, you know? Like not too far from civilization, but far enough, you know? 
the game is very interesting and very cool and, and it has a beautiful it is beautiful and it, and it has a very cool story four bathrooms holy shit <laughs> A little house besides the lake in the woods. That also sounds cool. That sounds really cool. I, I want to have access to, like, water in some way. But it doesn't have to be, like, right next to my house. You know. Oh. Okay, okay. That's, that's... Cool, though. Like, can't say anything against that. <laughs> Yes, Acid, yes. No, no, not with the shoes! I have to move my mouse for something to happen. This just now destroyed everything. You can't... You... You... You can't... You... No! That whole last day... Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Eden, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. <clears throat> the power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. Hey, I, I I was trying to. Oh, can I not? Is that not the? Oh, okay. It just didn't trigger for some reason. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. I like how the style of the the art style kind of changed. It looks kind of more... more washed out if that makes sense more more blurry a little it's not it's not vastly different but it is different enough for a noticeable change that's interesting it was the first and last time i ever saw the old house aground well and dark There'd been an obviously earthquake yeah earthquake out in the middle of the ocean they called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. This gives me a very Lovecraftian vibe somehow. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I could make a Ugandan Knuckles joke. I got turned around. But I could also reference good memes instead. F 
for a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. She's pregnant. Taking your shoes off feels like but a too-long workout. when I saw them, they felt like old friends. Even if she's only like a couple... That night, a lot of things came back to me. Even if she's only like a couple of weeks pregnant? I think she was like six weeks, right? Is that already the case uh, this early on? I, I don't know. I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and. Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great-Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. Oh, that's cool. I'm controlling the hand. Twenty-four weeks? A few years went by. I was about to say, wait, that's two years, but no. That <laughs> Shit. But wait, twenty-four weeks, that's like six months. That doesn't sound right. Oh my god, that's cool! My mom didn't like to talk about it. Oh, that's so cool. But she started getting sick a lot. And it kind of reminds me of Doctor <coughs> Strange too. The rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Do we witness a birth now? Do I this want... This journal was supposed to be for you. Do I want to witness a birth from inside? But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. Well, after week 30, in any case, that doesn't apply to her, right? This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. <laughs> Even more. Oh my god, I, I have goosebumps right now.
This was beautiful. I... Holy shit. This, uh... <coughs> Isaac, do you have an educated answer? <laughs> me too! As me too! for for uh, the question super minox wrote just now oh I didn't know that oh I, I I I mean I believe you I didn't notice it but damn I, I will put on the video. We still have some time. Don't worry, Isaac. Just send it to me. It's an okay, we will not watch it now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will watch it later at some point. Uh maybe tomorrow or something, but we will not watch it now if it's that long. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I thought it's like a short video. <laughs> exactly, Minox, exactly. Damn, trick or treat, smell my feet. Anyone want to smell my feet? <laughs> Enjoy, thank you. On like the on like the the food thingy. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Replay story options now available. Select Edith to play to play from the beginning, so we can uh, replay. And oh, that oh, that's cool. We even get to select from here. Yeah, we get to replay any story. That's very cool. Isaac, while you weren't the first person to recommend me the game, by far not the first person, and I think you remember, I told you I wanted to play it for a long time, even before you ever mentioned it, but you were the one who actually pushed me to play it. Like, I don't think that I would have played it at this point now without you. So thank you for that. Thank you for granting me this experience uh, way earlier than I would have otherwise.
Hello, Nell. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, and thank you for stopping by, and um, good luck with your work. Oh my god. I think... Normally, I, I actually wanted my next game to be... Um, the Resident Evil 2 original again, to play like the second half of it basically, to play Claire's campaign. But right now I'm still in this very like, very calm, very like chill mood, you know, this very... It's hard to describe, but I think you know what I mean, this very, this very wholesome mood, if that makes sense. So I think my next game is gonna be that as well. Um, it's called Flower. I don't know if anyone uh, has ever heard of that. Uh, you may know the, the games Journey and Abzu. Uh, both are regarded as uh, masterpieces, and I have to agree, I played both of them on stream. They are very short, around two hours long, and they are absolutely stunning. During both of them, Journey more so than Abzu, I sat there like about half of the runtime, or even more, with just an open mouth, just like looking at all of that, because it was so incredibly, incredibly beautiful. Um, and Flower is the little-known first game of that studio. And I wanted to check it out for a while now, and I just, I've always just been waiting for the correct mood, and I think right now is that mood, so that will be my next game. The best next game could be the Doom Eternal DLC, yes! <laughs> hey Mark, welcome! Yeah, yeah Nell, I hope everything is, is uh, going well. Gun Home, wait, do I have that game? That's also one I wanted to play for a while. But I'm not sure if I actually have it. I do. No, I don't. It's on my wish list. But yeah. Flower will definitely be my next game. And that one is short. Or should be short. It should be done in just one stream, so... We won't have to... Uh, you won't have to watch it for too long. Don't worry. <laughs> But yeah, that's gonna come next, because I'm still very much in this mood, and it's a very nice and wholesome mood. And it's one that I am very rarely in, so I'm really enjoying this right now. Also, Isaac, one game that is definitely from you that I only know about because of you, I think. No, I think it was on my... was it on my wishlist? I don't know. Anyway, Virginia, that's also gonna come at some point. I'm seeing it just now on my on my steam list that's gonna come at some point but not next next will be flower i'm very hyped for that i've wanted to play it ever since i found out about it basically i mean that's not a bad thing right Anyway, anyway, let's end this now. That was what remains of Edith Finch, and a little bit of oversharing on my part. <laughs> yes, exactly, Isaac, that was the game they did before. Before Journey and before Absu cam came Flower, and that will be my next game. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> Mark, fuck you. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, but that will be next time, and next time will be uh, at least one week from now. I don't think I will. I don't think I will stream before next weekend. So flower will be next weekend. Let's just say 
let's say Saturday. Next Saturday will be flower. Um, still very busy with uh, working on projects and stuff, so, you know. But yeah, thank you so much for joining everyone. Thank you so much for experiencing this, this beautiful game with me. And again, thank you, Isaac, for making me play it, basically. Uh, but now I have to say, have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, yeah, goodbye.